Katia v5 using the human posture. So I'm over here within the human builder workbench. As you can see, I have moved the clavicular and the arm of the mannequin into this twisted position. So to get started, I will also reset. So we have the possibility to reset the posture of the mannequin if you're going to go over here to the initial. And by default, they enable coupling and also those two angular limitation and animate viewport are not checked. So let's take a look. Within the human editor, we have the possibility to make use of a total of 68 articulated joints with six couple joints. So we have over here the filter. I will also uh, make this a little bit. Let's see if I can extend this window, but I see that I cannot do that. Therefore, I will just toggle over here. We see that for the fingers, we also have the possibility to control the thumb, also the index. And each finger will uh, have three elements, as you can see over here. So also for the last one, that finger will also have um, three sections. Within the hand finger, we can also use hand only. And now we're going to see that we're going to have the arm. And if I'm going to click over here, this will all be considered as hand. And since this is all considered as hand, we have the possibility to use the degree of freedom. So we can either do a flexion or an extension of the arm over here. Or we can do a radial deviation in this case. We're going to see which will be the movement within this direction. So keep that in mind that if you want to have full control over each finger, you will have to use the hand filter over here to enable the fingers. And afterwards, we're going to see, for example, for the thumb. This is for the right side. As you can see over here, we can swap the side over here. If I will go to the left side, this will be automatically selected and this will be the right side. So, for example, for the thumb one, we have the possibility again to do an abduction or adduction over here, as you can see. This will swap over here. So currently this is set to adduction and all the way over here will be abduction, as you can see. we can change that this will be adduction and abduction but keep in mind that the range of motion for each one will be um, quite small and afterwards it will automatically um, pass to to the next one we can also enable coping over here so for example for this finger <coughs> <coughs> okay we have the possibility to do a flexion or an extension. And as we can see for the second section of the finger, we only have that enabled. If I'm going to go for the tip, this will also have only one uh, extension. I know that there are some people that can um, say do some um, additional motion with, uh, with the top of their fingers, but in this case for Katia Mannequin, you can only do that for the base over here. As we can see, we can change that abduction, adduction. If I'm gonna go for the hand, we're gonna see that within the degree of freedom, this will be the same as with the thumb. So we can do a radial deviation or urnal deviation, as you can see over here. And uh, depending on the value, this will swap between, um, between those two. You can also reset the degree of freedom and that will take this back to the initial um, initial phase over there. But uh, as you can see, now this is still slightly misaligned. So if you want to go back to the default default, you're going to go over here and you're going to type in initial and that will reset the whole mannequin. So afterwards, we're going to have the forearm. 
as you can see for the forearm we're going to have extension and flexion it's a good idea to enable the angular limitation over here and as you can we can see this will be all the way up to 140 degrees so that will be the largest and this will be the smallest over here with a slider as you can see this will do various um, steps if you want to change that you can right click over here and you can do change step you can go one degree by one, by one over here or you can um, add a new value over here for example five degrees so keep that in mind that you can increase that as well as we can see that will not snap automatically over here but you can have that enabled over there you can also change that value over here as you can see we have a blue arrow and also the possibility over here to animate viewport this will not actually do an animation this will just move the camera a little bit um, better so that we can better visualize that movement as you can see so keep that in mind it's not a true animated viewport it's just a reposition of the camera so that you can better see that if i'm gonna go a little bit forward for the arm we're gonna see that we're gonna have um, so for the forearm we had the possibility to do flexion extension but also pronation over here as you can see this will be that movement i will also move like this so we can better see the movement so we see that this will um, move the hand within this axis for the following section we're gonna have the basic flexion and extension over here as you can see that will go all the way up to 141 degrees and all the way down to minus as you can see that minus um, almost 61 degrees we can also do an abduction over here so this will move sideways as you can see over here and we also have the median um, medial rotation which will go all the way like this <clears throat> so we see that now the hand of the mannequin is quite twisted not in a let's say natural position let's keep in mind that this is the let's say the maximum um, extension that can can be reached if we're gonna go to the next section this will be the clavicular and uh, this will have elevation and depression as you can see this will slightly move the clavicular um, on this axis up and down and we also have the extension flexion which since we have the animated viewport will go within our top bird's eye view like this we're gonna see how that will um, will move next we're gonna have the head as we can see we don't have um, individual let's say uh, for the neck they will all be located over here underneath this one so for the neck we're gonna have the flexion extension which will move the head up uh, and down so the mannequin will look um, to the floor or uh, upwards it will be lateral left and lateral right as you can see this will move the head like that i'm also gonna make him uh, look in front something like this and now we're gonna see with lateral this will be quite a narrow angle as you can see around 90 degrees and we can also do a rotation so we see how that head will rotate if you're also going to try that um, you're going to see how you can also move your head and do uh, let's say a similar rotation like this it will be the same for the other side for the um, for the left arm therefore i will go over here to the um, thoracic and as you can see we're gonna have a flexion so we can do a flexion like this so um, back and forth the same just like with the head we can go to the sides or we can do a rotation as you can see this will twist the mannequin from the 
storage area underneath that we're gonna have the lumbar area which again will have a rotation flexion and also that lateral but as we can see this will have a narrow angle so around um, plus minus 88 degrees over here so underneath that we're gonna have the full spline the full spine sorry not spline spine as you can see this will have the lumbar plus thoracic section over here so we can um, have that either side um, lateral left and right or we can do a rotation so as you can see this will um, move multiple um, involves schematic elements on the mannequin so we can have him like this flex to look on the ground or we can flex him all the way to the back as we can see for that this will go all the way to minus almost 20 degrees afterwards you're gonna have the legs over here we're gonna have um, flexion I'm just gonna move within the slider so flexion extension abduction and adduction over here as well again I will move the slider and media rotation and lateral rotation as we can see I will also rotate a little bit so I can better visualize that uh, that movement okay so afterwards we're gonna have the leg with a flexion and extension over here so we see that this can go uh, to the back media rotation we can have this twisted and underneath that we're gonna have the angle which will be this one as you can see this will be called over here uh, foot so we can have an eversion or an inversion so this will uh, slide that angle or we can do this uh, flexion over here plantar flexion as you can see the the naming so this will go on that di direction if i'm gonna move to this to the following section this will be uh, the following one as you can see for this one this will be driven so i don't have the possibility to move it it will be driven by this one and um yeah it will be the same also for the following one which is this one and afterwards we're just gonna have the um, the end of the foot over here and this as we can see in this case will be driven as well and over here on the bottom we're gonna have the possibility to go to some predefined postures so this is the initial one we can go to the stand we can go and have him sit so if you want to rapidly add the mannequin uh, in a sitting position in a chair or in a car or uh, something like that you can easily do that and um, further you can start to adjust the desired posture we can also put him in a span so as you can see this will have the, um, the hands position uh, like this and there's also the kneel position so as you can see this will be the default um, knee position yeah, so let me just select the the end over here and as we can see this will be called the toe so initially this uh, we saw that it was locked but as you can see we have the possibility to do a flexion extension for the um, for the toes while for the hand the those can be individually selected for each finger and um, all will have three sub elements over here for the toes they will all be grouped and we can only do a flexion or a uh, hyper extension for uh, the toes you can also try to see how uh, you can move those in real life okay so that's a general overview regarding the posture analysis for um, 
Katia v5. I hope that you find this content useful. I will position a similar video over here on the left side. I will add this within the Katia v5 tips and tricks. And I will also add a subscribe button over here on the right side. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.